think we're starting. Yeah. Welcome to the first <sighs> uh, episode of the Bodo Podcast. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm Joe Neil, and this is my co-host Sam Kwan. Nice to meet you all today. Yeah, what are we doing here, Sam? Uh, I think <laughs> we're just finding a few few topics to talk about. Yeah. I don't know, trying to yeah, yeah. introduce ourselves yeah. and trying to get to know each other. And uh, yeah, yeah. So like you know, before um, we were thinking of having a podcast, we were just thinking like, you yeah, know, what, what what what's like the first you know like topic or what's the first thing that we could talk about? And um, I think one of the like main things that have happened in my life is really uh, mm. like you know how I in the past like few years how I've moved uh, you know moved to Brunei you know yeah. from Malaysia from KL ah from um, KL yeah yeah so um, I think like the series of uh, events that led to that decision and um, you know like you know how like um, you are, you are moving to a place and yeah, all yeah. the decisions that you have it to can make. be quite daunting at times as yeah well, that's right it? yeah yeah and um, it's not like you know uh, I'm like gonna be here like for forever or and all that but it's like you know hey you the, never know you never yeah. know you, you know yeah life has a funny way and you know thing you be in one place you know talking about funny way um, sure so the first the the, the first uh, decision or sort of like the first uh, part. Um, of me you know, considering Brunei was actually I was on a train and right. uh, in the and it, it's actually a KTM what what's K- KTM KTM is actually uh, it's an acronym for Kereta Api Tanah Melayu yes is that is that a legit name in, in Kuala Lumpur that you can actually call yeah, yeah. KTM is like, like is, the, it, is it a sign for it in, in there yeah it's like a logo it's like KTM um, it's uh, the colors are like you no know, blue yellow like you know, on like a, like a logo like KTM logo and the letters you mean or what the, the actual signs color yeah the actual right. logo yeah so and it's like the fastest train I'm just kidding it, it, yeah what is it, it old, old steampunk <laughs> train they use coal and all yeah, man. so like every really? it comes it comes in like every like 30 minutes like 15 15 to 30 minutes so that it comes uh, yeah it arrives in your station and you get on the train Wait, is that, is that, does it make those like that very loud noise then the chugga 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 kind of no? Yeah, I think many years ago it was like super loud. Like, like people know like from afar there's, there's, there's like a train. Yeah. And then um, I think, um, I guess like seven years ago, seven to eight years ago. Yeah. I think, um, I think they, I think the government like, like bought like some trains from China. Or China supplied some All trains right. over. So it's like a newer version of. Of, of an old school train but so they still use like steam huh? or is that not no 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 steam bro <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay were you saying steam earlier yeah I, I, thought, I thought when you said like KTM like, like yeah, I think oh, I didn't steam, hear that steam, steam train I was like what so, right. okay yeah so right, sorry. Right. yeah so I was on a K, I was on a KTM train and I was like going to work yeah. um, and I was in where, the where, so what what were you working as at the time uh, so I was like um, inside account manager so you're supposed to do like sales calls to yeah. uh to a certain group of uh, clients, um, okay. you know, in, in a specific country or a designated country that is allocated to you. And mm-hmm. I was looking for a certain project by this uh, MNC. So MNC is MNC. Like a, yeah, multinational company. Okay. Yeah. So I was I was like uh, working for this company for for a good like uh, two and a half years. Two mm-hmm. and a half years. Yeah. And um, it was like towards like the end of the project. So was, I was this like, was this your like first job in UNT, or you did like couple couple jobs? It, it's not my first job, but I would say like this is like my first like proper like career wise. Career wise, yes, okay, definitely. Sure. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So so um, it was during that time where I was like um, I was thinking, you know, um, you know, should I like move on because it was uh, during the end of my contract and the project. I you know I was uh, that was like uh, appointed or you know allocated mm-hmm. with is like gonna end, and um, and so I, so I was thinking like you know should I so b- because I was offered a new role you know yeah. for a, for another project, but uh, I, I did not take that because I felt like you know I don't want to be doing the same thing. Mm. So uh, and the thing is, uh, part of my work is actually to also. Um, uh, to to do sales calls for um, for Brunei, okay, right. So that's how I like. So that's how you sort of discover yeah, yeah, like about the, more yeah. about Brunei. Then. Brunei, you know, yeah. like and 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 I like Brunei. I mean, mm. but but being but I was I was just based in KL, doing all my work, you know, from yeah. KL. Although I was like working for something, um, you know, uh, that it, that is related to something in Brunei. Right? Okay, so I was on a train, 
going to work. It was the, one of those, uh, you know, last days of work. Um, towards the end of the towards of the, the end day, of the yeah. contract, project is going to end, and 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 I've got to like okay. make a decision, blah blah. blah. And I got this like thought, funny thought, right? Yeah. Like you know, random thought, like you know, what would it be if I, you know, I, I look for a job in Brunei, mm. right? Okay. I mean, like you know, I, I think I was. How old was I? How old am I? I mean, good question. I, I, I would I'm like 29. to know. Okay, you're 29 at yeah. that point. Okay. So, um, five years ago, uh, definitely 24. 24. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we we passed. Yeah. So, 24. And I was thinking, like you know, I, I've got like nothing to lose. Um, yeah. You know, I just want to do something, and uh, I, wa- I, do, I, I don't want to do something that I've always been doing. Man, I would love to stay in the same industry, yeah. but do something new. If okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So, um, so I took, uh, yeah. So I took my phone and then I rang uh, one of my um, conglomerate. Conglomerate. In, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Um. In Brunei, mm-hmm. so yeah, she is like a like a like a top level, high level, like senior uh, manager of this uh, MNC company okay. that had like a branch in in, in Brunei. Has, oh. It has a branch in Brunei. Okay. Yeah. So I so I just made a call and I told this person, hey, you know what? You know, um, so she knows me, right? Because okay. I was doing this project. Yeah. Right? So you you, so, you you knew her during your project project days. Yeah. Then. Yep. So then I then I told her like, hey, you know, I I'm looking for job you know and uh, I'm interested if you have any roles for me mm-hmm. and um, and then the thing about the thing about uh, this thing is uh, like you know looking for a job you know you have this procedure you know like you you you, you apply you, you you know fill up a form or yeah, you, yeah. you're trying to wait for your next call for your next interview and all that but this was like super random because I you know I just called her directly and I said hey you know do you have like a, you a have role like, a vacancy yeah. For me, then she she just she told me directly. She's like she's super upfront, and she told me directly, like, "Hey, no, we don't have a role for you." Okay. No, so I, I was like, oh. "Oh, sure. I mean, nothing to lose, right? Like, I, yeah, I just yeah, tried. Yeah. I mean, why not? You know, why not Brunei? Yeah, it's a good, good, good attitude to have. Yeah. See, see what you can go. Yeah. So, um, so that that happened, and um, so that was it. So I was like, Brunei, you know, I I don't think that will happen, and uh, I'm not sure if she will call back mm, and blah okay. blah blah. And so, so, um, so in in between, I had like a few other opportunities as well. Yeah, like so, people around me, like you know, hey, do do, do you want like want to get you want to take the job? And oh, uh, from but, from your current current like at the time. Yeah, from other companies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, from my side, I'm like, you know, you're you're when you come to this point of your life where you want to do something new, but at mm. the same time, you know that. Um, It doesn't excite you. The, the the thing the thing is you you can do it like this thing like a, like a new role like you can do it like okay. you, you've been offered with that new role, but um you they, but it doesn't excite you anymore. Like you, you are able to so do you, it, but it doesn't excite you, you anymore. Like so I was in that yeah. point. Yeah. So like there, there are people like hey you know Junior you know why don't you take up this role you know, mm-hmm. you know um, we have another like job opportunity. Why don't you take up this one? You know, but it doesn't uh, excite me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I probably at perhaps at that point I was like, ooh, why don't I you know go to Brunei? You yeah, know. So but yeah, I mean I I ended that call with her. She said to me like, hey, you know, no no roles for you, brother. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, she calls me bro. Okay, interesting. But I mean, I also find it interesting is just like you know how. You sort of just randomly decided to come to Brunei because um, again, yeah. it's not a country people will think of, and yeah. and then you know it's not even a country like you know some unless you you know are in the oil and gas industry, you probably wouldn't heard of yeah. um, Brunei, you know. So it's uh, yeah, it's interesting to to like see why you want to. Yeah, understand, here. man. Understand. Even even people in KL, uh, they were like, you know, you know. I mean, like, Cause, cause be, it's, yeah. it's coming from like. Because KL is like a big city, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like it's very, like it's you know it's big city. It's diff- very different compared to Brunei. Brunei, you know, again, it's 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 quiet country. Yeah, it's you know very chilled. Yeah. So compared to like the hustle and bustle of of KL, like, yeah, people have to like w- right. you know walk high speed you know mm. all the time. So, yeah, I mean, I think certain parts of Malaysia is like super like you know. High, you know, it's fast rush. pace, yeah, it's very yeah, fast, fast pace. pace, and in KL is definitely mm. that you know, 
and um but the thing is even people in uh Malaysia they want to i mean they have like you know uh dreams to work in places like the countries like Singapore mm. or Thailand you know where like the market is yeah, different we're, we're and like, yeah. uh, uh, i think the expectations are bigger and then like your career growth can be um can be boosted in a different mm. way and yeah. so so they feel like the grass is always greener like in in those places yeah in those places that, yeah. yeah i mean like but the thing is i did not think like that you know for okay. me it's not like if i go to brunei you know i'll be a okay. big shot or <laughs> yeah okay, you know yeah, I mean, yeah okay no it's been 5 years but i'm still <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah but, i mean yeah um so at that point um you so decided not, to come to brunei just like on a whim like yeah just, let's see what 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 brunei has to offer kind of thing Well, so something happened that okay. uh, that I was like so sure. Okay, let's go to Brunei. Um, right. Then I did. So like I said, like did not receive any. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, she told me that there is no mm. uh, role. There are no roles for me. So that then one month later, or then or passed, and uh, one month passed, uh, and and like no news, and you know you have this. This thing in you, like a little faith in you, like I, I think that like, she will call back, you know, and tell me like, hey, we're gonna okay. set up something. But but then again, like I was like too, yeah, like yeah. I mean, I was just imagining things, you know. I was like, maybe I would just okay. wait for a few more months and probably get another job. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so I wouldn't say I was giving up, you know, because she told me that there are no rules already, kind yeah. of thing. So, uh, but, but I was like, in the meantime, were you sort of like? Trying to look elsewhere, or you still sort of like hoping on no man. Them I was getting... bumming around, man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, my mom was so like, dude, <laughs> it's time for what you. What are you doing? Get, no, get, my... get applying. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, I think, I think it, it's really hard. Like, I, I think it, like being like twenty four, twenty five, and like you are like, um, I mean, if you've been working for a while, mm-hmm. and then do not have a job suddenly because. Obviously, when 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 you were working, you 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 are paying bills, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. and then, uh, or or you are like supporting your family in a mm-hmm. way, yes. and then like for that source of income to just like uh, take a pause, that yeah. is something, man. Like that is, uh, honestly, um, I think it's okay for the first month. I mean, like you know. You know what I mean, Cause, right? Because you feel like that first month after after not working, you're like, oh, I have all the free time to do, yeah. you know, and I can do whatever I want, kind of. You know, I don't have to like. Work yeah, yeah. I mean, time. like you're taking a breather, or you just yeah, want to yeah. be, you're yeah. just want to be at home, okay. you just want to chill, and then. Uh, but after a while, you're like, like, you want to chill, but mm. then again, you realize, like, dude, I I need my pocket like, oh money. My, oh my gosh, I have to like. Yeah, think, I need because I need I'm, my pocket I'm, yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. So like um, to, so so the first month of uh, so yeah, eventually the project ended. And and I became uh, jobless. Right. Yeah. yeah that, so that's the scary. That was the most scary part. Be jobless, man. You know? Yeah. I mean, I I know you. I know you'll understand me now. Yeah. yeah. Not that he's jobless, but. <laughs> All yeah. right. <laughs> no. Yeah. But um, yeah. So at that point of time, um, I was uh, yeah jobless. First month, second month, and then uh, third month, I I received a call mm, from. Okay. From this, uh, uh, from this lady boss.